A plus or minus five million uh, people living there. And I said, look, these people, they have contributed in making this beautiful city what it looks like. And I said, they definitely deserve a better uh, environment to live in. And they should have all kinds of facilities, such as what we see in the um, so-called uh, urban areas. I'm so grateful that uh, Soweto is, is, is definitely booming today. We would like to, to, to see the, the money our people earn into the cities to circulate in Soweto seven, eight times before it goes out of the area. And this will help to upgrade the area and um, the quality of life of our people will definitely be better than ever before. They've already made us suffer because now we find that uh, the business that we used to make before is not what we are doing at the moment. Now we're just getting trips and trips for people coming from the malls who are coming just to buy essentials like milk, sugar in the evening. During the day, it's quiet as you can see now. I think uh, for the six, for the rest of six months, people will be going there. They will be interested in buying there, maybe seeing what is there, and we are going to be very much affected. Uh, the other part, uh, that's how I feel. Maybe it makes the richer more richer, the poor goes very poor. I think business can be made, and I think if you kind of ignore, mainstream businesses ignore Soweto, I would say they do it at their peril. So in sum, I've shown you, I think there's people are getting, yeah, I don't want to say wealthier, it's maybe not the optimal word, but poverty in the, town, in the township is declining. I think government has realized that, that um, the people of Soweto um, have got a buying power. And most of that buying power has been uh, directed to the suburban area, the, uh, the CBDs, etc. And and it only makes sense for the people of Soweto and business of Soweto to grow their own local businesses.